Okay guys, so a very important part of being on your post is being number one, being aware of your options. Make sure your head always on a swivel. Constantly finding good times to scan out front, being aware of where the threats are. Now, when you know where the threats are, you're gonna to wanna to adjust the angle of your leg. So typically, if you know there's no back door option, maybe you know there's a strong side pass out chance, you might wanna be about here with your leg. If you knew the puck was coming up towards the goal line, maybe you're on a five on four, five on three back door option, you're gonna use the toe, backward C cut or hinge and put your hips up ice and give yourself a chance to get a deeper angle across, maybe even post to post on a backdoor play. So not only is hinging important while you're standing, it's also very crucial when you're down in your reverse VH in your post play. So here we see him down in his reverse VH. He's doing a good job abiding by my 90 degree rule. If you let your pad or your hips outside this 90 degree line to the post, you're putting yourself in a bad position. You're overplaying the dead angle shot. Remember guys, from a dead angle near the goal line, that goal mount is very small. So there's no need, hinge out, get over aggressive there. There's no need to put yourself in a bad position. If we were to take a look from this angle by the goal line, you would notice that about 80 to 90% of Ian's body is covering outside the net. The other issue we have here is any play that were to go behind the net or maybe a pass out to the center of the, uh, center of the slot or the weak side, he's not gonna really have a good chance. If he does a good job of hinging, or backward C cutting using the toe of his skate and adjusting his hips and keeping them up ice, he's gonna give himself a chance to make the save basically wherever that play goes. So guys, here we see on the glove side and his standing post integration. You're gonna notice the back quarter of his heel of his skate is inside the post. Anyone in the corner over in the stands can see that he's wearing these nice Bauer pads here. He's got the heel of his stick to the toe of his skate. That's a really good stick position if you're anticipating a pass. Pucks in the trapezoid behind the net. Now, if you know you don't have a chance to block a pass, maybe there's a chance for a quick pass out and a shot on net, you'd want to go toe to toe, protect your feet. Some goalies prefer this at all times. If you're more of an active or aggressive goaltender, I typically like my goalies to take, it, take away any passes through the paint. You can take away a lot of scoring opportunities. Now, we're going to take a look at glove position. A lot of goalies these days are opting for this glove down, closed, next to the knee. Some goalies will prefer just opening the glove and keeping it there. Again, guys, it's all what you are comfortable with. It's really your personal preference. A little bit more old school, Mika Kiprasov, he used to like the glove all the way over. Gave him the ability to catch any passes trying to be sauced out in front of the net. Now, obviously, it should go out with saying, but you want to make sure wherever the puck is below the goal line that your back skate is not at an angle where that puck can be shot in and banked in off of you. Another thing, you don't want to be lazy with your stick. You don't want to get caught with it here out in front and score on yourself. I've seen it happen. You guys got to make sure you don't get caught sleeping on the post. Guys, thanks a lot for joining us today. Brian Robinson, Stop It Goaltending. If you'd like any further information, please visit us at stopitgoaltending.com.